Hey guys. What's up, my beautiful peeps? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Get the Sense 92, giving you guys the latest and exclusive content a new music, entertainment news, and inspiration, folks. I'm here, truly, the Queen's back, period. All right, I want to make this video and I want to really, like I said, push through and just start talking about different topics more on this platform and I have to be honest it's time that I actually talk about this and yeah so let's talk about popularity privilege now I know people they make videos about that aspect but what your girl is going to do is I'm going to break it down but also my personal experiences and you know like i said like how popularity privilege is a thing and it's not just pretty privilege it's not just like it's popularity privilege overall in the real world like you know like even reminiscing my experiences the days of like school like going to school in general overall i was the kind of child i was quiet I was shy, very, very, like, very artsy, artistic, um, and, like, bubbly, full of energy. You know, I was the kind of kid, like, I just didn't want no troubles, no drama, get along with anybody, everybody. Like, pretty much that was me as a little child. But as you girl experience things, like, you know, like, navigating the world in school and the first day of school, I'll never forget the first day of school. It was a really, like, cool moment. And, you know, it went from there. You know, I did make a, I made like a, I wouldn't say, like, I didn't have a whole lot of friends growing up. But my peers in school that I jailed with, like, I got along with, like, we did, like, play on the playground, recess. Or, like, we talk in the cafeteria, like, you know, cool peers, like, positive peers. So, that does fit the bill. But there was a lot of things that your girl personally did. I experienced a lot of bullying. I experienced bullying at home. I experienced bullying in school. In the home, that's going to be a different story. A real interesting story years down the line. But you guys... Stay tuned because you're always brings it, all right? So popularity privilege, like, okay, and as a girl, I was a girl, like, I was girly, girly, feminine and I was time voyage. And like I said, I made really good grades, um, high grades academics, but sometimes your girl was very frustrated with sustaining her academics because what was going on in my household. It was very challenging. Um, I even suffered from anxiety and depression when I was little. I didn't realize what it was. Um, I didn't know. But I think that as I was getting older, I started to really realize that popularity privilege was really you know, my last dag on nerve. I tell you why. You know, we go like elementary school, mostly elementary school kids. You get along with them, but then you got the ones that they are um, bullies and a-holes. And then you get to the middle school. When you get to middle school, it's like, oh, wait. Middle school, the popularity privilege took another drastic turn. Because there were some students in my class that low-key were bullying on me, hating on me, um... Or, like I said, you know, because I was quiet. And I didn't really like getting into fights. Um, and I can even recall witnessing, you know, my peers getting into, like, unfortunately, confrontations with, like, student fetishes or bullies. You'll know a bully when you see one. You're like, you dread going to class because you know that bully or a few other more bullies are in the same class. Like, why? But you have to just go in and just say a prayer and just do your work and that's that. Then also, like, in the cafeteria, sometimes it really, I hated going to the cafeteria. I feel going to the cafeteria was just, like, not really the best place. 
like for me to socialize i had dealt with so much like it was very difficult for me to express myself and i didn't really know how to like use the positive like reinforcements of like tactics of like building that confidence to like talk to people and stuff because i was like quiet then i remember my i was a teacher bless her heart and soul my fifth grade teacher she said positive parent teaching confidence to my parents she said she is so gifted and intelligent and she's going to like blend with different people it's okay because I see her interacting with different people, but sometimes she's quiet and reserved, which is fine. But like kind of find a balance to like be more like balance, you know, just choose, you know, make your decisions like, you know, your circle, your tribe. And she also was really, really amazing. B A D A S S because she literally was also not about that B S like that messed up like mentality like she was very real very well-rounded teacher um and she was like one of those teachers that actually cared and actually did like what she loved to do and she actually really cared about what she wanted to do but as far as popularity privilege got to high school and we all right now in high school that's out the window because literally you're dealing with a whole lot of stuff you're dealing with like a-holes left and right coming at you and even in their popularity circle i kind of got the message a few people that i didn't i did not hang out with i wasn't going to hang out with them wasn't cool with them because they had really weird and bad way energy and I'm not saying that we all go through things because it happens, but those were the kinds of energies where it was I oh my God, am I crazy? Or am I crazy? Or is it me? Or am I the issue? Um, do I fit in? Do I belong? Of course, it hits you like home because of course. But also, I kind of feel too that popularity click that's why even don't get me started even like music since i love music i remember when i was listening to certain artists well, i listen to a song or i sing a song or i like a song or artist and sometimes i actually and this also goes into what i you know like things that i talk about on this platform sometimes they ain't gonna freaking a-holes be like oh you listen to this artist and this artist is wagging blah 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 da, 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 da. and i said okay whatever popularity at its finest with that period um and i actually started at first i was like why it seems like you're just picking on me for no reason did i get sad and sensitive yes i did i got sad and sensitive but I actually felt that those individuals, they just were just, I really want to say weird in a bad way. I want to say another word, but I said they are unhinged. That's it, unhinged. <laughs> They're unhinged. And they didn't really, like I said, they didn't have an open mind to things. It was like, We'll just follow what's, what's hot. You know, if you're unique and different, they low-key hating on me 10 years ago. I didn't know it yet. I didn't even realize it till now. They were had, like low-key hating on me. And others as well. Neck and neck, like peers just hating on me and hating on everybody else. Because they were hating on everybody. Like literally people that were like positive and, you know, positive and just have more bubbly personalities and like, I wasn't really into like, especially like, like more, you know, they were more like cocky, like that tribe, like popularity people, like they're really cocky, like, like they're real cocky, like they have this God like complex, like they run the world, they are, they like people are beneath them. I said, huh, this is real fun and getting real interesting, as I can say, because I actually was like, damn i'm like yo 
if it's that, it takes that for just to make people feel like crap and break their spirits. That's what they do. The only thing is people are going to rise up, period. And I always say you treat others how you want to be treated. And what you put in the universe, it will come back to you like a boomerang, period. It's going to like, what? What? <laughs> like my 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 wrist like this, boop, 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 boop. It's going to walk. And then it's like, you know how I actually am really, really so really being interesting? Pop. Because people, the popular privilege has gotten into people's minds where they feel like they have, you know, the right to bully people. And, you know, and even like, I even I thought as a like, child or teenager years, I said, oh, the bullying, that's only just for children. Now, no, let me be specific. Like, only bullies can just be like, like, you know, like how, like, oh, they're children, they can be bullies. But when they get adults, like, oh, you know, like they stop being bullies. That happens, you know, that happens. And I had this thing where, like, well, adults can't, like, it's kind of like society's the standards of, like, well, who's able to deserve it all and who, who doesn't? And that's really sad. I don't care. And I feel like the popularity privilege now, right now, gotten so worse. It was worse before. But it, this is, like, ten times freaking, like, apocalypse zombie style. <laughs> like, being nice and kind is um like frowned upon nowadays or like people they have this really really braggadocious nasty mean spirit or they feel that entitled to bring people down to make themselves look better because they got certain things or they have certain things or they're like really like i said those individuals i have learned i know people say well, find a way a conflict is resolution. And from what I'm looking at right now, the only conflict resolution is you. Because really, I learned that it's within us how to be the B-A-D-S-S -S within ourselves and have our power and fight back, period. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Popularity privilege has gone out of control to the point where literally even social media i have even witnessed and i talked about this stuff on my youtube platform with certain videos and i said certain people should not shouldn't really have a social media account to begin with because nine times out of ten the popularity privilege that these, you know, that a-holes have are a C-U-L following, a popularity group of people within whatever. And like I said, no, social media is amazing. It is great because we need social media to engage in positivity, make a difference, do stuff that can change the world and also navigate the world, right, for information and technology now popularity privilege and when you even have a different opinion sometimes these a-holes are going to be like well you're public enemy number one well i'm going to be like look you are really interesting person number one <laughs> you're really interesting and you know sometimes you girl I haven't, you know, I haven't really, I haven't really been myself for like the last, I would say, last 10 years. Because I was 21 10 years ago. I am 31 years old. I have had that bubbly, bright, sparkling personality, but it was pretty much hidden inside. And it was diminished, tried to diminish and tried to really dim my brightness, to dim my like aura that I have 
And sometimes even with me, I have learned to really, <laughs> I've learned to really, really master the art of with these, you know, like how people like the popular privilege is like, okay, good example. Like everybody is a certain way. You got this, you got that. All right, that's just how it is. And everyone else is whatever. They're lame and whatever. Even watching like like these like up and coming like like the new music and the new entertainment, this and that. Popularity privilege has really showcased a lot in that department, even in the working force. Yes, indeed. I actually have experienced going on job interviews and even when I took the job, I was like, okay, I had the role and I had the, you know, like I said, out the skills. But man, I tell you, oh man. Your girl had to fucking like, excuse me for my curse, and your girl had to like sprint. <laughs> your girl had to like go and just like quit those jobs. Because I noticed that the toxic working environments, I was like, okay, all right. All right, I'm positive, you know, I'm just working with people. And I love working with people and be a team, working with be a team player and vice versa. Yeah, that's just how it goes. But even with popularity privilege, we're going to have eight whole co-workers. I actually am very, very frightened for the future because we got these eight whole co-workers in these jobs and fields. Since they got certain things, they have the degrees or not, but they don't have the, you know, in them genuine in them to like, you know, help people. Um, and to like, you know, empower people, just make, just make people feel very comfortable and secure. Just make people feel like, oh my God, look, I can go and I can get what I want, my resources, when I'm going to get my resources in a positive way and I'll be good to go. I'll be on point. I don't need to worry about waiting in line all the time, like calling how many phone numbers to get what I want, like I know about people resources, like for like health, medical coverage, um, like they have their own families and stuff. And man, I get so infuriated to the point where we need more of us to really define the popularity privilege. Um, and I think that even with the popularity privilege, it also took a toll on everybody's well-being, on everybody's health, um, and, and, and really even popularity privilege. Like, people will use that, you know, against people and hurt people, which really, look at my shoe. <laughs> if you look at your girl's shoe, <laughs> Right, it's all bright and colorful. I love vivid colors, and that's another thing. <laughs> vivid colors bring your girl really just the excitement, the thrill, and literally, people will try to dull the moment with their popularity privilege. I don't want to sound cliche, but I don't care in this video. That's just how I feel. Period. <laughs> That's just how I feel, period. And I also feel that as I watched um like people how they was talking about, yeah, you know, it's so sad, you know, like how people like people are the outcasts or people are the oddballs in society. Or you you know, look. You're beautiful just the way you are, whether people like it or not. You're not perfect. There's no such thing as perfection. There's nothing about perfection. Also, anybody, I always go with this motivation of quote, the pop, the popular privileged people 
they have they're most likely the, the biggest haters of all time period how they hate on others that's why if you don't have any haters that's okay if you don't have haters even if you don't have haters i don't go by like the cliche like If you don't have haters or not, it doesn't matter. People are just going to be coming for you. Just let it marinate. And that's all you have to do. You have to let it marinate. And um, I feel like at this point, we'll have to go and find ways for us to even channel ourselves and take care of ourselves and just even, you know... I'm just men beyond sick of the BS. And popularity privilege is just not. It's not it. It's not that. But I know that popular. I mean, it's like. It's, it's, it's really more of a society standards. You know, but even if you don't live up to what society wants you to be. You can create your own adventure. You can. And have your own destiny. And have great things. Just because somebody got what they got. They're blessed. You're going to get what's yours. And you're going to be blessed like everybody else. So what's the daggone freaking issue? (laughs) What is the issue? (laughs) And, you know, even reflecting back on myself and my personal um, experiences, I am really, really grateful. I am tremendously grateful for the things I have now. And I do. And I look, I pretty much am going to, like, get into more topics to talk about. And these videos are not perfect, which are fine. It is fine. No such thing as that. I just want to engage with you guys because I appreciate that. And I want you guys to talk about your personal experiences with people that you've dealt with of having popularity. Have they used it against you in a bad way? How did it make you feel? What was your personal feelings, your emotions? And how did you use that to cope and push forward and be resilient and kick ASS? Because we're all beautiful and unique at the end of the day, period. Now, unfortunately, we're not going to be attractive to people. That's fine. But that does not make anybody, like, have the right to belittle someone's spirit. Which I actually feel, (laughs) this is another thing, too. Because um, <laughs> that that's just pure, pure spiritual warfare, in my honest opinion. If people, people got to go that far to just be very, 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 very mean and very self-righteous. This is what I call it. I call it, <laughs> ooh, somebody... Mm, I actually will say this. Are there any real life exorcists? Oh, wow. Or I'll say this. You know what they always say. If people are that wicked and evil, that means they must most likely have been. They have been that way since day one. Or as time went on and people didn't realize it. But tell me, what do you guys feel about popular privilege? What is popular privilege to you? And even I had talked about how so redundant and repetitive 
that there are these so-called beauty standards. And for my women, my ladies of different walks of life, we're all beautiful in each and our own way. All my black women, we're beautiful for ourselves, period. I feel, whew, when I make these videos, I'm gonna be like, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm look, I'm gonna call up I'm gonna call up my inner fighting spirit when I do these videos because I feel like it's just time for new nostalgia to get back in the game, guys. We gotta get it back. But with that being said, this popularity privilege thing, this is my own personal take about popularity privilege, popular privilege whatever, however you call it. How do you guys feel about it? So with that being said, guys, stay tuned in the next episode of Give Since 92. Like, share, comment, subscribe down below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button. And as always, stay tuned on the next episode of Give Since 92. Dragon Ball Z never in reference. Peace. Bye-bye. Your girl's asking out. This Super Saiyan's out.